attitude. I wear my heart on my From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Today, it's an NFC West battle between the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about him being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done, but they lost. So obviously two interceptions, one touchdown pass, that's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. On second and 12, Goff, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Oh, he'll field it in the end zone. So possession goes over here on the punt. The Cardinals will take over at their 20-yard line. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. get this up to the 34 yard line that goes for 14 yards first down cardinals first play of the drive a first down run that sets you up for whichever way you want to go do you come right back and run the football again because you've got them on their heels or do you play chess match with them break tendency and go play action and go for the big shot not even a chance to pitch that one as he swallowed up in the backfield Now this time, Allen will throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Allen now on first down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. There defensively was John Johnson to knock it free. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. On third and short, Drake. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Running, it's Drake. And an alley to run. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. On second down, it's Drake. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. That burst good for 20 and a first down. On first and goal, Drake. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try and pound it in with Drake. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. 
It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. They'll try and run this. It's Pumphrey, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. And a loss of three to bring up four. Such a long drive here. Three points. That would be a disappointment, but I don't know if you can go for it here, can you? Well, you know, the defense was really giving them a lot all the way downfield, and now they've stiffened. Forget that bend don't break. Now they don't even want to let them get a yard, do they? So in this spot, you remember what the coaches told us before the ball game? Any drive that ends with a kick is going to be okay with us, whether it's a punt, a field goal, or an extra point. Take the field goal right here. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And to be frank, they're just in a tough spot. It's only November, already eliminated from play. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. plays like this where the ball comes free it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is this is the quarterback the ball gets away from him everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense they're usually looking in the other direction downfield or have moved away from him in this case though a teammate is able to come up with the ball now meanwhile a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete and this is away, it's a high kick, and he got all of it. This is taken at about the 14. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. On second down now, it's Drake, and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first down, Drake. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. On first down, Drake. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On the run, it's Pumphrey. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. They'll run here with Pumphrey. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second in the yard. Murray, Campbell making the catch. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. They run with Pumphrey. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals push further out in front. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. 
beats good tackling on that play. And result, touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. The coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now it's gone. They'll find Everett there, complete. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. A shotgun snap for goal. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Goff throwing again. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because there should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Again, golf. It's complete. This is Todd Gurley. And down inside the 15, he goes. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This will be the first red zone opportunity now for the Rams. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. And he's got it. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the 1. 12 more yards there and another first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. He's got the lane, and there he goes. He's at the 30, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. So from one end zone all the way to the other, talk about a turnaround. And how about the excitement that that play generates for his team? Not just the points on the board, but the momentum and taking it from coast to coast, end zone to end zone. What a tremendous play. Now get that man an oxygen tent. <laughs> Not your boy Old Mo. You said momentum, right? Old Mo, he, I think he's kind of limping across at the end because of that distance, but he made it. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. Come on, baby. Let's go. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. To throw is Murray. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Let's make 
On second down, it's Drake. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. And now Murray's going to set up the throw on the move to his left. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And now offensively it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Right, Haven't done right, anything so far right. here in the second half. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Catch made here by Campbell. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Paris Campbell, touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Point after, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain that time, but it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Throwing on third. Gone. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Chandler Jones, one of the best athletes to ever come out of Rochester, New York, in for the sack. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there. It's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. So here are the Cardinals to take over. They've got the lead yet again in this ball game with their winning streak right now sitting at 10. First down. Forced out to his left. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. To throw again on second down. Murray eluding the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep. And that's caught inside the 35. That's a gain of 31 with right around one minute to go in the quarter. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Paris Campbell with touchdown number 23 here on the year as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. 
Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Los Angeles. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. Of here. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And, Charles, we are in the midst of a very one-sided affair. I think this is where you and I have to fill a little bit. You want to regale us with old stories of your childhood in New Paltz, New York? <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to hear that, but this is a perfect time for us to start listing MVP candidates, right? The right. best teams we've seen so far this year, the best games that we've called thus far, how we anticipate the season unfolding. We can go in so many different directions because the game certainly not taking us there oh i hear the remotes clicking off right now right back to drake they're gonna snuff this play out behind the line we have not seen that much today the second down play results in a loss of two yards charles you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance it was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen yeah they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game didn't they it looks like they're headed towards a big big number but 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Cardinals. Kenyon Drake. His third touchdown now on the year as his guys continue to pour it on. So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. Well, they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And, okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. A big play there for L.A. 53 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Now gone. And that's complete to Cooks. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. But he won't be able to smile about it. Extra point attempt to follow here. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And they're going to have poor starting field position as he's out of bounds at his 10-yard line. And now let's talk about Kenyon Drake. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of know. <laughs> but I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. We'll see if he can do it. 
Now on first down, Drake again. Nikel Roby Coleman up to make the tackle. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. On second down now, it's Drake. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. A big chunk of yardage there, 37 yards. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Let's go, D. It's going to be a long day, offense. It's going to be a play. On second down, it's Drake. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. On third down, Drake. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And he'll find his target, Woods. It's complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, here's gone. And they get this complete to Cooper Cup. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25 yard line. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Cardinals, the perfect season remains intact as they move to 11-0 on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Philly to take on the Eagles. Meanwhile, for the Rams, the problems just get worse and worse as they fall to 2-9 now on the year. And they'll get a chance.
green light, go. 